He's been a big fan of vinyl forever. And truth be told, um, a lot of the things that, that he's doing now with Third Man Records and where he was doing live to acetate, uh, he was inspired by Corduroy Records in Melbourne. Jack White and the White Stripes, you know, they were making records. I bought a single from them the first time that I saw them. Jack White came out with the White Stripes. One of the things that they would do was they'd have a barbecue on a Saturday afternoon with touring bands that would come through and they would record the live performance to a 45. He was impressed by, by the whole process, but that was something that he carried with him that he was really impressed by. He kept the flame alive. I think what the White Stripes did, they became popular and so the idea of vinyl into that realm. You know, he's always flown the flag. I mean, when that Lazaretto record came out, we're going, how do they do that? How do they do that? Over the last, you know, 10 years or so, I think Jack's taken it to a whole new level. I don't think we would have the vinyl revival that we have right now without Jack White. A generational thing, kids that grew up liking the White Stripes heard about vinyl when they probably hadn't before, and now they're making records.